Monkeypox is a virus that's in the same family as smallpox. Uh, this virus was first discovered in 1958 and is endemic to Central and West Africa. We are experiencing an outbreak of monkeypox here in the United States, but this isn't the first outbreak we've been experienced in the U.S. The last one was in 2003. The signs and symptoms of monkeypox include a flu-like illness, such as fever, chills, swollen lymph nodes, muscle aches, tiredness, uh, but the most common symptom that we're seeing is a rash. This rash uh, starts off as a flat red bump uh, that becomes a fluid-filled uh, blister that uh, develops a pus, uh, and that pus uh, then is expelled from that uh, sore, and then it leaves this ulcer base. And that's the symptom that makes monkeypox most infectious, given that it's spread through direct skin-to-skin -skin contact. Monkeypox spreads through direct skin-to-skin -skin contact, as well as through respiratory secretions in a person who is infected with monkeypox, and through sharing of clothing and uh, fabric that has been worn or touched by a person with monkeypox. Regarding the skin-to-skin -skin contact, there are multiple ways that it can be spread. So uh, through hugging, kissing, massaging, uh, and through sex. What we're seeing is it really requires vigorous skin-to-skin -skin contact, so kind of multiple uh, points of contact, which um, allows itself through sex to be an easy uh, route for transmission from person to person. For the majority of people, monkeypox is a self-healing uh, illness in that it's mild and people uh, tend to heal without the need for medication. However, for those who have excruciatingly painful lesions, such as lesions that are uh, in the anus or around the penis or uh, in the mouth, uh, they may need a medication uh, called TPOX. And we have seen that this medication uh, greatly uh, decreases the pain and allows for faster healing. Uh, so we really use that for patients with excruciatingly painful lesions and also patients who are severely immunocompromised. So those with cancer uh, or with uh, an AIDS diagnosis uh, would be folks that uh, this medication is useful for. So I recommend um, that patients with excruciatingly painful lesions or immunocompromised uh, talk to their doctor about how to get access to TPOX treatment. If you think that you have monkeypox, uh, you should be tested for monkeypox, but it's really important to note uh, that in order to get tested for monkeypox, you must have a rash because we swab that rash and then send the swab off to the lab to test for orthopox virus, which is the family of viruses that monkeypox is in. So uh, while you're waiting for that result, it's important to isolate. Uh, if you're going out uh, to the grocery store or anywhere, you should cover uh, the rash. Um, if you have a provider, uh, call your provider about getting tested. If you don't have a provider, call 211 or you can come to one of our public health clinics to be tested for monkeypox. If you've been diagnosed with monkeypox, it's really important that you isolate, and that's isolating from uh, people in the community as well as the people that you live with. If possible, to isolate in a room with a separate bathroom uh, so that that way you decrease the risk of spreading monkeypox to others. Also important to contact your recent sexual partners, uh, particularly those who you've had sex with within the last two weeks, uh, to encourage them to get vaccinated against monkeypox pox uh, and to watch out for symptoms. Uh, important for you to note that uh, if they are vaccinated within four days of exposure, uh, it greatly decreases the risk of them getting monkeypox at all. If they're vaccinated within 14 days, uh, it decreases the risk that the uh, infection will be severe. Also uh, important to look out for a call from the public health uh, team. So the nurses, one of the public health nurses will call you uh, to complete a contact tracing interview. Uh, so uh, this interview will include questions about your most recent um, exposure and uh, folks who may have been exposed to you. So the process of healing uh, from monkeypox takes about two to four weeks. Uh, and what we're looking for in that healing is that uh, those lesions will uh, scab, crust over, and that there will be fresh skin there. That takes 
next about two to four weeks. So during that time, you should continue to isolate. We can prevent the spread of monkeypox by avoiding direct skin-to-skin -skin contact, such as hugging, massaging, kissing, sex, oral, anal, vaginal. We can also avoid um, the spread of respiratory secretions, so avoiding being in close proximity, talking to someone for a prolonged period of time, and avoid uh, sharing clothing or fabrics that are worn by someone who may have monkeypox. Want to ensure that we also wash our hands regularly uh, before eating and avoid uh, touching our faces. Also, if you're going to be in contact with someone with monkeypox because it's unavoidable, say someone that you live with, important to wear um, personal protective equipment uh, such as a mask, gloves, uh, and a gown. Yes, there's a vaccine for monkeypox. It's called the Genios vaccine. This vaccine has an approximately 85% effectiveness. It is a two dose regimen. Uh, the doses are taken one month apart and it takes a total of six weeks uh, to get that maximum effectiveness. So that's two weeks after the second dose. For those who've been exposed to monkeypox, uh, if they take the vaccine within four days, it greatly decreases the risk of getting monkeypox. Uh, and if taken within two weeks of exposure, it decreases the risk of severe disease. So talk to your doctor about the vaccine or go to our website for more information.